We have an update to the story of a religious Karen who followed a congregant into the bathroom to do what? To shame her for wearing shorts because in the opinion of the church leader, the the girl wearing the shorts was too chubby. Um, so it all starts, uh, here is a, a tweet from two years ago. Uh, we have an update for you, so stick around for the update from the woman who, uh, now woman who, who shot the video. But she tweeted, this woman followed me into the bathroom and attacked me calling me fat and that I couldn't wear jean shorts because I was too fat. Um, and here is that original video. Um, it is, it is something else. So, uh, so take a look. She's a chubby girl. She's got a dress on that's appropriate. It comes down to about top of her knees. So you're sitting here calling me fat? Oh, you don't think you are? No, because I love who I am. I'm sorry. No, you get, get the out of my face. I don't have to, and don't swear at me like that. I don't again. give a. I do. That's your problem. I do give, but you don't, obviously. <laughs> Don't come back on that stage with those shorts. I'm warning you. Who are you? Who are you? Who you don't read my name? I say that, but who are you to tell me what I'm supposed to Lower do? No, voice. get the out of my face! Quit swearing at me. Get out! Don't talk. I am not. Really? Yes. Try it. Okay. Bye. 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 Because guess what? I've been recording this entire thing. And I will show my parents that I will never come back to this church because of how much you are disrespectful. You are so disrespectful. She called me fat. She called me fat. So there's that, and I want to make sure we all heard that at the end when she goes, she was in there swearing. Okay, lady, she didn't swear until you said what you said. And to show the two-faced, the, the two-faced that you are, that's what you led with. Because you knew you were in the wrong, you already knew that you lost this conversation in the eyes of God. It is a ridiculous, ridiculous position that she had, and and everybody's heart breaks for that girl. Um, with a woman, she's 19 at the time, she's 21 now. Um, sorry that I wrote girl on the lower third, but um, but uh, it just it was heartbreaking, and she did stand up for herself. But I'm wondering what y'all's thoughts are on that before we give the update. Yeah, um, so. It, I thought it was, and I don't know that uh, either person's politics, right? But it, it felt like um, right wing slash white privilege there. Like, so it's not that it's racial. Yet the the woman who, who's uh, being accused of being overweight is African American. But I I don't know that that has anything to do with the story. I just mean it in the sense of um, she thinks I can call you fat, but if you swear back at me, well, how dare you? And she genuinely believes that. She thinks I can say anything I want to you. And she banned her from the show. I mean, I think that's cancel culture, right? She said, do not come back onto the stage because I have judged you as morally deficient, both because you're overweight and you're wearing the wrong clothes. And so, mm -hmm. and she said, and, and then on top of that, after she swears at, at, at the older woman, and, and then the woman says, and, and says, oh, you, you better not swear. And then the younger woman says, I don't care. And the older woman says, you don't care and that's your problem. So like, I'm now blaming you a third time because I think that the root of all your problems is that you don't care enough. So I've just moralized and judged you in every conceivable fashion. But she walks out of there like, can you believe this girl, right? And she tells the people, she's in there swearing. Because she, I think, guys, that she really doesn't get that she started the whole thing. She provoked it because it's that overwhelming sense of entitlement that we can't quite relate to. Like, I've never thought that way in my life. Like, I get to do whatever I want to you, but if you just push back an inch, like, that's the most outrageous thing. I've never felt that. But I think a lot of people in this country feel that. And I think that's what you saw in that video. Caroline. Yeah. It, I mean, I think we all know that this is. 
so tremendously sad, but I actually would argue a little bit deeper on the note that it actually does go deeper than you know one young woman's embarrassing experience, horrible experience, because the heart of this and and why I do think it matters that she is an African American woman is that at the heart of this is anti black and anti fat violence. Um, and you know, I've, I've had the pleasure of reading a couple incredible books lately about um, about those two things and the intersection of those two things and why experiences like this aren't just embarrassing or shameful, but they're actually incredibly dangerous. Um, those two books are uh, one is called Fearing the Black Body and the other is called Belly of the Beast by Deshaun Harrison. And both of those talk about how black bodies are under constant surveillance and it has real like actual consequences for um, people. Uh, apparently it's legal in almost every United States, every state in the country to fire fat people based on their weight. Um, we all know that there's a lot of stigma in the medical field about misdiagnoses and poor care. Um, decades of incorrect um, information out there about um, you know, obesity and things like that. Um, and I, these two works, I, I'm just really happy that I was able to read them because they talk about how Fat people and black people are, you know, they show up in their bodies every single day, and and to to have that be policed and and really just shamed constantly is is such an underrated um, epidemic in our country, I think. Um, and if you have feelings that are fat phobic, and you know, like. A lot of people do. We live in a deeply fat phobic society. But if you have feelings that are fat phobic or you judgments against bigger bodies, like that's on you. That is your issue to figure out. It is not your place to lash out at other people. Um, you, you know, that is a that is a personal problem that you need to look look within. And it's just it's so insane. This is in a religious setting. Like, you know, aren't Christians not supposed to judge people? Isn't that kind of the whole? Yeah. And and so just in, it's exactly right. Um, it is. I'll give you the update. Just one of the quotes from the video. You can go online and watch it yourself. But uh, her, she said, "I haven't really seen Bonnie Sue since then. Um, I stopped going to church. Really, kind of discovering myself right now." And she said that in the process of all this, she doesn't want anyone. I'm not going to say the name of the church because she said that the pastor actually banned that woman from any further activities or points of leadership in the events at the church. And that that woman has still tried to reach out and as she puts it, push the buttons of the family. But she won't let those buttons get pushed. And so the family, she's a, she has kind of moved on from that. And she just wanted to express to everybody who found this on Reddit when we resurfaced this week, that she's really grateful for all the support that she's had. So. That's yeah. good, and we can show you what she was wearing that day. Um, there's photos that she posted. It was literally just jean shorts. Oh and my on the god, back that's was nothing. That's on nothing the back at it all. says, yeah, it says agape, which is God's unconditional and unending love. Was the shirt she was reading wearing when this woman said, actually, it's conditioned on whether I approve of what you're wearing. I, it was, so it would never that. even occur to me to criticize that outfit. And so, look in the in the uh, bonus episode for members. I'll tell a story of when I was called fat and how that turned out. Uh, by the way, it's true if you <laughs> couldn't notice, but but how, and how did it affect me younger in life and how did it affect me later? I love that she fought back on it, and I do want to give the church credit for doing the right thing. Thanks for watching the Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.